What's up guys, Mike Boss here again coming with another little video of my 120 gallon bill and today what I'm about to show you all is a quick and easy way to cycle your tank. I don't know much about it and I'm about to try it. So this will actually be a test to see if it really does work and the product that I have today is this. The Dr. Tim's one and only. Right? Read a lot about it. Saw a lot of reviews about it, and they say that this thing actually works. It gets rid of new tank syndrome. How did I end up with new tank syndrome? <laughs> As you can see, I went in a whole bunch of different directions with this build. At first, my initial plans was just to get the tank and transfer all the livestock from one tank to the next and I contacted a few advanced hobbyists such as New York Stillo and he gave me a, a, a I would say a foolproof way there ain't no foolproof way but he gave me his best advice on how to go about it and unfortunately I couldn't follow it to the T because of one, I decided to go with a different substrate because in the old system, I used crushed crush coral and I didn't want to go back with that. And then two, I had to kill a few of my rock to try and get rid of the, the PRG on it. And as you can see right now in the system, there's only one little piece of live rock. So I wouldn't expect the way that he um, told me to go about it to really work, you know? Sorry I couldn't follow it, but hey, you know how this hobby goes. It goes in all different directions. So today, I'm just going to try this product because I definitely cannot wait. I could wait the four weeks, but hey, let me just try it because in this hobby, they, you know, it's trial and error. You, without, without trying it, you know, nothing will be done. So... I'm just gonna try it, see how it works. I'm definitely not gonna put any of my fishes in here yet. I put some on um, my method of going about it. I use some um, fish food and a live rock. My ammonia begin to spike a little. It's probably going, uh, it's begin to raise. It probably reached like about 0.25 going up. So, I'm gonna let you know how this works. Wish me luck. I know it's not the, probably not the common way of doing things, but as I say, let's just try it. Nothing try, nothing done. So here we go. Now you shake it up and everything. Oh, they did say turn off the protein skimmer. Oh. Thank God I remember that. Okay. Protein skimmer is off. Let's see what else did I need to do. I think that's it. Just go for it now. <sighs> so you've seen it live, people. There it goes. In. Now they said to you, you could add fish one time. But as I say, I'm not going to put my fish through that this time around. The last time, as a newbie, I went and I I bought some damsels. They didn't all die, but I lose some of them because not to the not not due to any effect of the water, but because they are so aggressive. Won't advise anybody to buy them kind of fishes to cycle their tanks or any kind of fish at all. It's just kind of cruel, and I would admit that I was one of them that did that. You know, foolish mistake on my behalf, and it's something that I don't think that I'll ever do again. So, I'm gonna try this method, 
and let you all know how it worked for me. Take my um, document the process and maybe this thing is really something that everybody be using you know after a while so this is it as I say wish me luck and this is bike boss signing out